Hello, welcome to Create with Child. Today I'll be doing print and foil thanks card two way. I got this image from Silhouette Studio Store and I printed on my laser printer and also I printed my own toner sheet. I double printed on it because for some reason no matter what setting I use they always white spot. And this the paper pad that I pick up from Tuesday morning, I'll be using it to matte layer my card. And I'll be using Setting Sun for CPS foil for my pumpkins. H and H also carry that is called Good or Star textile foil. Before I start foil, I always make sure I dust the foil and my image. As Nancy said, dusty, dusty. Here yeah, I'm using Setting Three in my mint machine, and I'll wait until my foil is cool before I peel, rebuild the image. Here I'm lining up to my toner sheet and doing the same thing, dusty, dusty, and I'll let it cool before I rebuild. I pre-die cut using frame die to cut out my foil image and matte layer and my card base. I use an A2 size card layer. I will be using Distress Oxide ink also for ink blending on the image. I'm using Scissor Optimum cardstock for um, my sentiment dicks. I use the charcoal. Each package came with 50 sheet, 10 sheet each different kind. Have mirror, have pearl, brush pearl, soft touch, and glitter. And I'm using the glitter. And I cut it out with my Cricut using um, intricate cardstock. Look how clean that cut out. And I'm gonna lay it on top of each other to give it dimensions. I am using Berry Art Glue to glue down my card base down. If you'd like to learn more about foiling, please join us at Foiling Snuff Club at Facebook.com. I had learned so much from Nancy. I didn't know I could double foil. I didn't know I could foil the waist. I think making a foil card is so much fun and so simple. You could make a different look by just using different color foil and if you can imp blending the background with different color, it just looks totally different. I'm using the same glue for my sentiment. I put the glue on because I want to make sure I don't have extra leak out so I just kind of dab it on an extra scratch paper on the side and line them up. I lay down the white layer first and I do the same for the charcoal color one. Do the same thing. After I'm done, I use uh, my standing block to sit on the top make sure you stay. For card number two, I use this Dread Oxide Bench Photo to ink blending my background. Then I decided to add with this Dread Oxide Brush Contour to add a little bit of contrast to the, my background. And here I'm using a scratchy piece of paper to hold down my finger so I don't get inky fingerprint everywhere. I also use black soy to finish ink webbing my background. Okay, I finished ink blending. I just grab a towel and wipe out any excess uh, ink left over on top of my foil. And I added my homemade shimmer spray. And I decided it was a little too dark, so I used a paper towel to kind of bluff off a little bit of color. I'm gluing down my card panel to my card base and I'm using the same glue for my sentiment. I glue down the pearl first and I use the scratchy paper to block off excess glue I have. Then I line up my charcoal one, do the same so make it pop.
Okay, both my car are finished. Here I'm just showing you the first car I made. This is made with foil waste that I just run it through the main with my homemade toner sheet and glue the sentiment on. And this is the original one that I printed the design from Silhouette Store. Look how beautiful they are. You could use any color to implant in the background. And here's the rest of the card that I made with this design. Thank you. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. I'll see you next time.